In the spring of this year, I got a hankering to build another CNC. Now, I didn't need another CNC as I have several small ones, but I was suffering from a little seller's remorse after selling my Avid Pro 4848 CNC to my friend Melinda. So I decided to dust off an old Sidewinder frame I had and build a new CNC using that. I started to collect all the necessary components linear guide rails and bearings, 16 millimeter ball screws, aluminum extrusion, three NEMA 34 stepper motors for the X and Y axis, a NEMA 23 stepper motor for the Z axis, drivers, power supplies, and a couple of DB25 breakout boards with a cable. I ordered some aluminum plate and used my little sidewinder and manual mill to machine the Y axis end plates and the Z-axis mounting plate, as well as a few other small parts. I worked on this build a few hours a day, and it wasn't long before I was ready to fire it up. I'm using a Masso controller for this build, but not the one you're probably thinking of. I'm using a second generation Masso controller that I got back in 2017. It's mounted to the back of a piece of half inch plywood and the connections from the controller box come into the Masso using the DB25 breakout board. On the front side I have a monitor and a Bluetooth keyboard as well as the e-stop and USB port. I'm told the firmware for the second generation Masso works with certain touchscreen monitors but unfortunately it does not work with the one I have so that's why I have the Bluetooth keyboard mounted as well. And since I mentioned the year 2017, let's take a little trip back in time. In January and March of 2017, I had this fine young man on my CNC with Dave live stream, and he talked about the Masso controller and demonstrated how to set it up. He also offered a Masso controller for a giveaway to one of my lucky viewers. I was really surprised when he sent a Masso controller to me too. Of course, the fine young man I'm talking about is the man I call Jap, the founder of Hein Technology Australia, the maker of the Masso controller. And that's what this video is all about. They are doing a monthly showcase where you can submit a video and get a chance to win a Masso G3 Touch controller valued at $1,500. How awesome is that? So this video that you've been watching is going to be my entry into the Masso Maker Showcase. Now, I would love to win a free Masso G3 Touch controller, but I've added homing switches, a touch probe, and even a tool setter to my second generation Masso, and it's working perfectly. Since adding all the bells and whistles to this machine and my Masso, I enjoy running a CNC more than I have in a very long time. Although I would love to win a free Masso G3 Touch controller, I know that if I'm not the winner, I still have a second generation Masso that will continue to perform and probably outlast me. I want to thank Jat and the Masso team for allowing me to enter the Masso Maker Showcase. I hope you've enjoyed this video and until the next one, thank you very much for watching.